Welcome back to Elmer's. So today's video, as you can see by today's title, is a review of the Dermacol Film Studio brand or what? Uh, the Dermacol Foundation. Now, I honestly don't know why I bought this. I am not gonna lie. I didn't need a new foundation. I'm actually not buying new foundations until I've run out of some. And let's be honest, like this is not breaking the bank. I think it was two pounds something, but I, it was a Friday, I'd been paid, and I kind of just went ham on like all the little random things that I wanted to buy, and this was one of them. And honestly, <clears throat> sorry, I don't. I, I honestly don't know what what I was expecting. I've seen Nikki Tutorials video and Lauren Curtis's videos, and they were two very different videos because Nikki was like, "Oh my god." The coverage is amazing and then Lauren was like mm, it's not as full coverage as what I thought it's a really nice everyday natural foundation my opinion is the fact that it's a very nice everyday natural foundation I don't think this is full coverage by any stretch of, stretch of the imagination and um, I don't apply it with a sponge so I don't know if that is why it's not as full coverage but I do really like the coverage of it the color of it the longevity, all that jazz. I do have it on today. I don't have a demo, only because when I get ready in the morning, it's pitch black and I, I use natural light to film. So I don't have um, lighting for it. I am gonna be using it in um, one of the tutorials that I have planned for Elmer. So you will see it being used on my face when I have daylight. Um, for the color match, I color match myself off of Google Images. I, I did well, I did really well. I actually don't know what shade, oh, 218. That, like this is what is a little bit weird about it. Because when you, when I opened it, I was like, that is not what I meant. Like, no. Do you know what I mean? I was like, no. So when it's on your face, it just like blends out. And it almost goes, I don't know why but in my head I'm like it just changes to be the colour that you need it to be. Is that even a thing? I know you can, do you know how you can get lipsticks that just change to your colour? So I put it on the inside of my wrist because my hands are so dark from being, my hands see the sun more than anything and then because my face has always got SPF on it, it is paler so I'm just going to like blend it out so that you can see see what I mean when I'm like it just goes your colour it's magic now what I'm quite surprised by this is the fact of how dewy it is dewy dewy um how dewy it is and the fact that I like that I get annoyed with t-zone and I um I love matte I love a matte face could not get my words out then so the fact that this is dewy and I really like it I think I don't know I don't know why I'm so surprised by that um so yeah I'm just blending blended that in on my wrist can you see it's like a lit because it's dewy and like this is dry but it's a pretty good color match at least I think so um it photographs beautifully like there is absolutely no denying the fact that it it photographs and it looks absolutely beautiful uh, the first time I wore it I kind of took a risk because it was the first time I was wearing it and I mixed it in with the Barry M uh, chrome drops just because I was like I want to glow in my head I was making my own version of luminous silk it worked it looked really pretty um, but I have also worn it alone, which is what I've done since because I've lost those Barry M drops. Ugh, don't know where they've gone. And it's just so nice. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, the pictures of me in Edinburgh at the Christmas markets with Charlotte, I'm wearing it then. It just looks so good. It doesn't cling to any areas. It doesn't cake up anywhere. I apply it using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So I dot it on my face with my finger and I don't use a lot, a little goes a long way. So it does have like a medium coverage. 
and I just buff it all in my face literally takes like two minutes and it's done it just I am so surprised it hasn't broken me out but I wouldn't say I've got overly sensitive skin I don't really think foundation and stuff break me out so I've done okay with that and considering I've used it quite a lot it looks like I've hardly even used it and that is because a little really does go a long way um, I, I, I'm not gonna not buy this again do you know what I mean I feel like it's gonna be something that I have just because it just looks so good and it was so good um, I'm not really sure about the products that are in it but it's not doing me any harm so far so why why would I not use it do you know what I mean so that is pretty much it like it's a different finish what I'm used to but I'm enjoying it I feel like as I'm getting older weird uh, but I, it's true what people say as you get older like what you used to love you don't love so much for example on a night out I used to just lather my eyes in black eyeshadow and my eyes would be as dark as possible and I don't really do that anymore I'm I'm I feel like the more I've learned to like myself I don't love myself yet but the more I've learned to like myself the more I've just enhanced things like I'm not overdoing it to kind of hide it or you know things like that so I feel like that is why I'm liking a more natural looking foundation that's got like that natural dew to it and isn't you know matte flat like high coverage that like you can't even see a freckle sort of thing um so yeah that is my review I feel like if you're intrigued by it um definitely buy it and I feel like you won't be disappointed Google images really is good for the swatches and you can pretty much if you've been wearing makeup for a long time you'll pretty much be able to guess what sort of shade you'll be but I feel like I, what I thought was if it was too light I could just bronze it up and it'd be fine um, I feel like I always struggle with the foundation colour being perfect because I'm mixed race so it's just like because I am two different shades of anything anyway I'm probably going to need two foundations to be a perfect match but lord knows I will never be buying two shades of foundation because I always like expensive ones that was a bit of a random spiel wasn't it anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if you've tried it and if you're going to try it and I'll see you all tomorrow with my next video bye